Hello guys! Today I will show you how to create a scene where the character gets thrown in a fight or an explosion. Let's choose a background. I'm going to use this one. And I will also need an explosion overlay, something like this. Insert the background in the script, reset the zoom and put two characters with a fighting animation. One character will be at layer 1 and the other character will be at layer 0. They will be facing each other. the punching sound, I turn off the sound and then raise it again to avoid the bug, which often appears in the app when the sound is not playing. Then add a punch animation to one of the characters using starts instead of is, and put a 0.5 second pause after it. Then punch to zone 2 in 0.5 seconds and add a crowd surf animation for the second character. Adjust the characters on the screen. Let's hide a speech bubble so it won't get in the way by scaling it to 0%. Oh, it seems like that mine is already scaled. Okay, after panning to zone 2, we need to shift the second character in the middle of zone 2, somewhere in midair. Then we're going to change the mail to starts crowd serve to mail to walks to spot the coordinates in 0.5 and mail to does it while crowd serve and mail to faces left. Then we're going to put him down on the earth to where he will fall. And we're going to repeat the command. Then we're going to use the animation I delay exhausted and the character will change his position, so we need to readjust him. And for that, we're going to put the command starts idle exhausted loop and the speech bubble. Let's also set out the zooms. Oops, I forgot to place mail to start crowd surf after he shifts in the air. Okay, now we can zoom on him. The character changed his position with a new animation, so we need to readjust him.
and we're done. For the explosion scene, just replace the first character with an explosion overlay. And don't forget to replace the sound. Let's change a zoom a bit. We need to scale the explosion overlay to its minimum and then to its maximum. And done! Thank you for watching this video tutorial. I really hope that this was helpful. See you in the next one.